Welcome sa ating channel. For the first time, ipapasilip ko sa inyo ang aking desktop setup. So, eto po ngayon ang ating magiging background and uh, mostly ma-observe po natin yan every time na gumagawa po ako ng mga reviews, unboxings, lalong-lalo na kung ang ipinapasilip ko is uh, products. And if you have observed, ipinasilip ko na po ang ating system unit, especially the time lapse and uh, kung ano po yung ginamit natin and how we put together all of the components, specification, etc. Pero ngayon, the whole desktop naman. Ano po yung naging uh, setup ng desktop natin? Yung personal setup ko kasi is nakalagay po sa aking, uh, ayun, sa room. Kaya nahirapan ako to have a chance na ipasilip sa inyo. Ngayon, medyo mas public na siya. So, most likely, if there are improvements, yeah, update ko rin po kayo and if in case maset up na talaga the whole studio then at least studio tour tayo maybe hopefully as soon as possible now with that being said syempre for the details let's talk about that and for more videos like this feel free to subscribe this video is brought to you by SCDKey the best website that you may visit in terms of a very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares games and yes operating system and there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. So since yung system unit natin is naipasilip ko na po, pero sa mga hindi pa po nakapanood ng video, we are using a AMD Ryzen 9, an MSI X570 Ace motherboard, an MSI RTX 3080 Gaming Trio, Big Q Water Cooling Setup, and MSI 750F Gold Power Supply at the same time G-Skill RAM. So most of us, when we recommend power supplies, we always recommend a power supply that is uh, a bit high than the requirement. Like there's a very huge allowance. Most likely you will question bakit yan lang yung power supply na ginamit mo and you have that RTX 3080 and Ryzen 9. Well, if sobrang familiar na rin kasi kayo about the consumptions and you have uh, the specific meters and uh, you're fully aware of how much is the consumption. Kumbaga nakakalculate ko na yung uh, specific na power draw then nag na lang ako ng konting allowance and actually 750 watts gold is too much for this uh, setup. At the same time, of course, uh, I also do reviews pagdating dun sa mga power supply and the reliability and the protection features kumbaga mayroon akong kumbaga in-depth details to trust pero as much as uh, I want to go for the technical part of course with this kind of budget kasi like we are having a budget of more than uh, 200k or for the whole setup if uh, nung sa peak ng pricing running from uh, 150 to 300k of course aesthetics is a thing that I also consider especially it will be a setup that I will be showing to you on how I will tailor the products when we talk about aesthetics, I know this is not a priority. Performance over aesthetics. Naiintindihan ko po yun. Pero that is commonly applicable if we are talking about the budget side. Like, ito yung uh, purpose ng unit. At the same time, ito po yung budget natin. So, kung sobrang tight yung budget for that purpose, then automatically, iba priority mo talaga yung performance. Pero kung uh, yung budget is too much or even more than the requirements para dun sa purpose ng unit. Like, for example, if you are uh, going for a build that is for Photoshop and uh, your budget is uh, 200K, well, you don't need that much RTX 3080 video card for that Photoshop purpose. Like, you're an editor. Most of the time, Photoshop ang gagawin mo. 90% of the time. Diba? Hindi mo naman kailangan ng sobrang taas. And if you will go for the priorities, most likely, hindi mo pa rin mauubos yung 200k mo. Then, that's the time that you can... Wait, teka lang. Pwede bang i-tailor natin na lahat ng gagamitin kong brands ganito? So, that's the reason kung bakit ako nag-drop down. That I will be using MSI board, MSI video card, MSI power supply. That is, kung meron sana ring MSI RAM, then most likely MSI RAM. Pero, nag-jump na lang din ako sa mga other parts like accessories. We have here the monitor. Of course, this is a unit that will be also used for editing and gaming, benchmarking, reviews. Then I go for the bit more flagship model. May ganyan tayong unit. Then, let's go for the MSI, a model that is hard to remember. MSI, ano na ulit yun? MSI Mag274 QRFQD. <sighs> MSI, please. Pwede bang gumawa kayo ng paraan na merong shortcut? Like, thank you. Pero, sometimes, yung modeling natin, kailangan natin ayos-ayosin ng konti. Anyway, 
Yes, that is the uh, monitor that comes with a very good uh, rating pagdating sa kanyang color accuracy, quantum dot, etc. features, 1440p. Pero if you will ask me, bakit hindi ka na lang na ganito yung mga pang creator na monitor ng MSI? Of course, we will also be using this unit not only for the editing side ng videos and photos, but at the same time for benchmarking. So we also need that uh, gaming features, that uh, high refresh rate, etc. of a monitor. Kaya ito yung kinonsidero ko pong monitor. So personally, yung mga components po na yan, especially for the monitors and the PC components, pili ko po yan. Pero, of course, the accessories, medyo dun na tayo na short ng konti. And uh, accessories kasi pwede ko naman i-upgrade anytime. Pero uh, just to complement the build, of course, I jump for the accessories na kahit paano acceptable. And uh, the shortcut of that is uh, avail those combo accessories of MSI. So MSI, like uh, the GK30, the Vigor GK30, it comes with this uh, plunger type mechanical like a uh, feeling pa na type ka pero not technically mechanical keyboard with the spring and uh, etc mechanisms talagang uh, parang rubber dome membrane keyboard pa rin siya pero iba nga lang yung setup niya like suspended yung keycaps and then uh, for the mouse it's still a Pixart uh, sensor or engine so the clutch uh, GM11 yan po yung mouse na ginamit po natin and uh, it comes with this Pixart 3325 so acceptable na rin siyang sensor and it's a uh, good to go na pwede natin nga especially for the price. Now, if you will ask me about that, bakit yan ang keyboard? Actually, as much as I want to defend it in the technicality side, I want it because I just want to go back kung ano yung feeling dati nung hindi pa ako nakaka ng mechanical keyboard. Back then kasi, there was this brand na hindi na rin sila masyadong sikat ngayon, like the TT Sports Commander Series, TT Sports Under Thermal Take, ang uh, nag-release ng plunger type na mechanical keyboard. So, hindi pa ganun kauso or hindi pa ganun ka-mainstream ang mechanical keyboard back then. And at the same time, yung budget ko pa po nun, hindi pa po naka-priority sa PC. So, that's the first keyboard that I have before. And, uh, kumbaga, gusto ko lang balikan. So, is there an improvement after a decade ng plunger uh, keyboard? Basta ayun na yun. Uh, gusto ko lang balikan. And at the same time, talk about it dito sa ating channel na gusto ko lang balikan yung feel nun kung meron bang improvement. And, uh, there is. And, uh, about keyboard, it's very subjective. There's no figurative way to explain it like, uh, numbers in F PS or what, pero ang masasabi ko as a user of plunger uh, keyboard back then, at saka yung plunger na meron ngayon, mas smooth na ngayon. Parang the same pa rin. Siyempre, eh, wala naman nagbago sa mechanism. Kung baga, dati yung mga uh, spring dati ng mechanical keyboard, like uh, traditional spring lang. Ayun, may mga progressive springs na, etc. So, may mga nagbabago. Same with the uh, non-computer uh, parts. Di ba? Usong-usong ngayon yung mga progressive uh, type of springs sa mga iba't ibang gamit. And uh, that's the thing na may mga nagbabago pagdating sa mechanisms over time. Pero pagdating dito sa plunger type, parehas pa rin naman. Siguro mas okay lang ngayon dahil may ARGB na. Yun lang. So, that's the personal reason why I choose this. Pero, yun nga. If you have that system unit, if you have that monitor, then better invest with the better accessories. So, of course, over time, i-upgrade din po natin yung mga accessories na yan. Pero accessories kasi yung pwede nating i-sacrifice na let's settle down muna with this kind of accessories. Diba? Just to complement the build. Now, you may question me na dapat na ganito ka na lang, na ganun ka na lang. Yes, there are a lot of options. Pero, as I have said earlier, keyboard is very, very subjective. Kahit sa mga keyboard enthusiasts kayo magtanong, if you will ask them, what is the keyboard that is best for uh, me? They will not answer na, eto yung pinakamaganda para sa'yo. Kasi in the end, magkaiba. You may be a tactile guy and they are linear. Or they don't know kung saan ka magsasettle down talaga. Maybe at first, you will feel it na tactile talaga ako. Ito talaga yung gusto ko. Pero later on, you will uh, realize mas gusto mo pala yung mga linear mechanical keyboards. Then, going for the other accessories, the headset. So we have here the GH50. It's a very good headset that you may have. Uh, rinig na rinig naman yung mga footsteps. And... Uh, uh, more on the clarity side. Kumbaga, pang gaming talaga. Hindi yung mabigat yung bass, hindi siya yung headset na pang entertainment, especially kung trip mo na trip mo yung mga may mabibigat na beat. This is a headset that is uh, more focused pagdating sa gaming. So, it's a very good entry-level headset that you may consider and to complement an MSI setup. Especially if you are now in a type budget pagdating na sa mga accessories. And for the mouse pad, we have here the GDT GD70. It's a very good mouse pad 
neutral texture, very smooth, more on speed kind of mousepad. Pero don't expect that it's an Cordura mousepad that is uh, now a thing recently. Pero ayun niya. Pagdating din naman sa mousepad, personally, I just settled down with extended uh, mousepads dahil gusto ko lang nakakabwaran yung uh, surface kung saan nakalagay yung keyboard at the same time mouse. So, ilag ako sa mga mousepad na kahit pa Cordura yan. Kung size lang siya for the mouse only, medyo ilag na ako sa mga ganun. Especially that this unit will be mostly used for production and if in case gagamitin man for gaming, it's just for the benchmark purposes. So, iba po yung gamit namin. We have some gifts from a friend, uh, Sir Kevin Tan. May mga ginagamit kami mga other Cordura mousepads for our gaming. Pero hindi ko sinasabing hindi po pang gaming to. This is also for gaming. It's just kung very very competitive ka or you just want to feel more accurate then settle down with those uh, new ones as of today, the new trends. So ayan po ang aking desktop setup. Technically, ganyan na ganyan din po ang aking personal setup na nakalagay din sa aking kwarto. So, same na same din po. Wala akong masyadong iba't ibang gamit na nakalagay sa ibabaw ng desk. Kasi I feel that uh, if there's uh, less stuff on top of the table, then less stress for me. Kung baga, mas prefer ko yung konti lang. Not really that minimalist, pero kung ano lang yung essential para sa akin, yun lang po yung nire-retain ko or nilalagay ko po sa ibabaw. If there are other stuffs, maybe speaker, yan po yung mga iba pong nakalagay. Pero other than that, wala na po. Hindi ako masyadong gumagamit ng mga iba't ibang components or equipments or naglalagay, especially kung ang unit na gagamitin ko is more on production side over the gaming side. So that's my desktop tour that may also serve as your reference, especially those guys out there who are into production, work from home, or kumbaga, hati yung kanilang uh, purpose. It's for gaming at the same time for work. So there you have guys. I may end this video by telling you for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and check the benchmarks.